All right, let's get into this thing right here. For about the last year and a half, all I've heard is how good the CTB is or the Civic Travel Bag 26 by Evergoods, right? You know your boy gotta test it out for itself. So for the last two and a half weeks, I've dedicated every day to this pack right here. And I think I got a good handle on its capability. One thing about this channel is I kind of lost my way. And I started reviewing a lot of bags. Anytime somebody, a company would reach out and say, you know, George, you want to review a bag? I would probably take it and review it. And you get burnt out that way, especially if it's stuff you don't like. And I'm kind of pulling back now. I want to just review stuff that I like on this channel. And I hope that you guys will like it. But, you know, I got to keep that motivation for me. Motivation to test it. Motivation to film it. Because if I don't like it, then what's the point? You know, like, what's the point of this channel in the first place? So let's get into this CTB26. I think we got some size comparisons that we got to kind of do. Like... This is the top of Evergood's game over here. Let's pull in the old faithful, the never fail me right here. This is the Goruck GR1, 26 liter. Just a size comparison right there. Kind of about, you know, the, the 26 liter GR1's a little taller than this pack, right? Just a little bit in depth. They're the, 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 GR1 is a little slimmer than this pack as well. So, yeah, no water bottle pockets on this pack. Basically, let's cut to the chase. The CTB26 is way more capable, more function in this pack right here than the GORUCK, right? We could talk about durability. There may be an argument there for the GORUCK. There may be an argument there for the comfort of the GORUCK as well. But far as functionality, far as usability, all day long, I'm trying to tell you, this CTB26, take it into work, very, very capable. We're not going straight too far away from what we usually do. We're going to talk about the dimensions. 19 inches tall. I'm just going to really focus on one because I want to let you know this is a kind of a taller pack. Most you know, everyday carry packs are around that 18-inch mark, 17-inch mark. When you start to get to 19 and 20, you're looking usually looking at a larger pack. And this pack has it in the name. It's a travel pack, right? And we kind of play with that interpretation of the name right there. But this was meant for like a minimal weekend travel or it's a larger, I think that this is the use case, or it's a larger everyday carry pack. And I think that in the community, this is where a lot of people are going. If they're carrying more stuff, I'm going to the gym after work, I gotta carry my, you know, my MMA <laughs> items, then this is might be the pack for you, or you just wanna swim, you got some more swimming stuff, you wanna lift weights, you can put your weight belt in here. I think that's kind of what this pack is for. Like, you carry a lot of tech in your everyday carry, so you want a larger pack like this. For me, when I was carrying it for the last two and a half weeks, I felt like I could carry whatever I wanted. Sometimes when I deal with like those 20 and 18 liter packs, I'm like, do I carry this or do I not carry this? And then sometimes you get out and you're like, damn, I wish I had a larger pack to put stuff in. This right here, I felt really comfortable. Like I'm a I'm gonna throw an extra rain jacket in there because I just can because I have the space to, right? The pack, because it's this 26 liters, it does like edge up on the weight just a little bit. I think it's still in the realm of average, right? Three pounds, six ounces. I think that that's in the range of average, right? Average weight for a capacity like this. I think it's still lighter than that Go Rug GR1 26 liters or they're about the same, right? Now, the materials on this pack. Nothing flashy. Like, ever good stuff, I really like it because they don't, they do everything very subdued. There's no branding, there's no branding, there's no branding on ever good stuff. You got the little patch down here. I do have the glow in the tar dark, the glow in the tark? Glow in the dark patch right here. And they did the two by two. I'm getting over it. I wish it was three by two, but I'll, I'll live with the two by two. If you don't want anything on there, you're going really, really unnoticed. Don't put a patch on there. 
But yeah, nothing, nothing like really stands out about this bag. I gotta say that this bag is like um, a bastard, <laughs> you know, like this thing has all of the best kind of capabilities and features that on Evergoods packs. Like it has the best, you know, reminds me of the MPL with the water bottle pockets. It's, it reminds me of the CP24, the way it kind of clamshells open, the laptop compartment, you know, it's got its separate section in the back. It's a lot of just the, the like the cherry pick best things that Evergoods does. And I really like their company, really, really do. So I was talking about the fabric and then I got on a soapbox. So 420D High Tenacity 6 with the water repellents. This reminds me a lot of, you know, the Evergoods packs that I've been kind of used to. It's a rugged, tough material. And it doesn't collect a lot of hair and lint and stuff. You kind of wipe it off. I have a dog and it's just like, cleans it off. It's good. I like this material a whole lot. And I felt I did get caught in the rain for some reason. We've just been getting a lot of rain. I got caught in the rain one day. Everything in my pack was dry. Let me take you to the things that I like the most about this pack. Like I'm going to stop raining, right? Number 10 and number eight YKK zips about on this pack, right? I like the fact that this pack has like three, I was about to say two, three quick access compartments on this pack. You got Number one right here is like a side quick access. Number two in the front and then number three in the back. Damn, how many quick access pockets do you need? I'm using all of them, bro. <laughs> I'm using all of them. So this one right here only comes down to about um, almost my full hand length. So that's about six or seven inches. There's a lot of volume. Each one of these pockets has a lot of volume built inside of it. So this, you know, I just have my, um, my wallet in here, but I could take out and put, I have sunglasses in this back compartment. I could put those in the front. Like there's so much volume and space in these quick access compartments. It's almost like it, it's too much, but it's like, nah, I don't want you to take it away. I, I like it, right? I'll find something to put in there, right? So it's, this is excellent. The lining in the inside is a 420D high tenacity lining as well. It's a light gray. I consider it high vis for sure. It, it feels really good. And then let's go back to this back one, right? This is a part of like the back panel on this yoke system that they use. They cleverly put in quick access part compartment right here. And I think those are smaller. Those are the, the number eight zippers. They might, yeah, they're no, number eight zippers. I have my sunglasses back there. I, I felt like they were protected, but you could put whatever. Cell phone wallet keys fits in there easily, right? So that's that. Let's go to this next one, right? <laughs> I like these quick access compartments. Do have a beef, you know, like I wish this zipper would zip down on the other side, like the mirror that they do. Maybe they want to do a CTB mirror. I don't know, maybe, but if they don't, it's okay. I still appreciate the pocket, right? You got a YKK zip. You can open this up. Huge capacity right here. This top layer lid has so much capacity built in. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about capacity, it's got its own space, man. It's got its own space. Inside of here, I could put what, uh, like I could put a whole jacket in here, right? It's got nice, nice two compartments. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but I'm gonna roll in a B-roll shot like I always do. Over here, you got some pin slots, big uh, Sharpie. Um, this is not a G2 Pilot pen. This is a Sharpie pen. American Lawman S35VN steel on that knife. It's a little big, but I love it. You've probably seen it in a lot of my videos. That's one of my staples. And I'm still rocking with the right angle flashlight from Ace Beam. I think it's the H16. And it's got a nice little orange color, right? I like that flashlight. And then you move over and you have a larger pocket, a nice mesh pocket. My big ass hands do fit in there and can grab the zipper and get into this pocket. And that's where I have all of my like hand cream, lotion, stuff like that. Big pockets, like almost like this big. It's not, it's a nice size with nice zipper on the top. I like that a lot. 
Evergood's mesh is excellent. Really like it a lot. And you also have a keychain lanyard in there that is long enough for me, right? I don't need it to be super long. I just need it to be long enough so that I can access a lock. And I did it every day for the last two weeks. This is perfect right here in the front. Drop my truck keys in with the house key. Put it in there, right? So one, I put the bag upside down. <laughs> so one, two, three in the back, quick access pockets, excellent. Let's go to the water bottle pockets because those are excellent as well, right? 32 ounce now jean will fit, right? Most any size water bottles will fit in these water bottle pockets. And the way that Evergoods makes them is excellent. They take a fabric, they bring it up, and then they bring it back down. You can watch one of Evergoods videos, they'll get super nerdy and technical with you if you wanna really dive in. But this fabric on the outside is excellent. Like it a whole, whole lot. Then on the other side, the same thing. Nice pocket, you can, these are like flirting with, you know, just dump pockets. Like you can put whatever you want in there. Like I like that line when they cross it and it's like, is it a water bottle pocket or is this the dump pocket? This is kind of, I'm considering this just a dump pocket. I like that. All right, the breathability of the back panel. I'm going to the things that I like, right? Breathability of the back panel is excellent. No real curvature of the back panel, right? No real curvature, but that's okay, right? I felt as if we did have some like warm, we're like in this stupid time where it's like, I wanna be winter some days and then I wanna be a spring some days. So we had some warm days. I felt this was a, this was, gave me good airflow. There is a luggage pass through. So if you want to stick it on your roller bag, which is very appropriate because this would be a great personal item. If you don't get caught, they don't make you, you know, use this or check it. The, sh the shoulder straps themselves are really good. I like the yoke system on Evergood's, Evergood's product. I know on the bottom a little bit, I did have like a little rub. Like I've heard the history of Evergood's packs, like this digs into my back. It didn't dig into my back, but I did feel a little pressure right here in the bottom. And there's some hacks out there about like putting stuff down there. I didn't do any of that because it wasn't really extremely uncomfortable, but it did rub a little bit on my back. I'm supposed to be talking about the negatives, but listen, I mean the, the positives, but listen, sometimes you, you can't pass things up. You just want to mention them. Now, let's go to another thing that I really like about this bag, and they stole it out of another <laughs> bag that I like or, or cherry-picked it from their own damn line. This laptop compartment is like my favorite, period. <laughs> laptop compartment. The zip is on the outside of the, of the shoulder strap so they don't get in the way. You undo that, you have a huge section in there for like a 15, 16, 17 inch laptop will fit in there. I love the tab. It's super strong and you know, really wide. It keeps the laptop kind of compressed and down. If you don't use it, you can put it inside. There's also a Velcro tab in the inside of the, like the sleeve itself where it keeps that tab out of your way. 15 inch Dell XPS is my standard laptop. Really simple if you keep that tab out of the way just to kind of pull it out, use what you gotta use, stick it in there. Look, ma, no hands, right? Um, and you have space in there to put more stuff, like if you wanna just put like a notebook or something in there, or a whole separate damn laptop. If you wanted to put a separate laptop, you have space in there to do that. Big big amount of space in this back compartment. And I didn't fill it in my back either, right? So the main section is awesome as well. And you're like, bro, how many, how many awesome things are you gonna talk about in this video, George? I'm just trying to tell you this is an excellent damn pack. Um, large number 10 YKK reverse quill zippers means it's gonna keep the water out, bro. So that's what that means. Get in. I always do that. I don't know why. I don't know why I do that. I open the bag while the bag is standing up. I'm an idiot. That's why. So a lot of talk about this pocket right here. How much volume, how much capacity spaces in this pocket. It's excellent, guys. It's 
it's damn excellent. But I'm gonna talk about the capacity of this, this thing. It's a full clamshell. You guys already know I love clamshell bags. You can see how much stuff I have packed into this clamshell bag. I use it for everyday carry. I'm sure you could fit, you know, a couple of packing cubes in here. Easy weekend trip, easy. And if you could pack for a weekend, I don't know why you couldn't pack for a week. So I've showed these before. These are AliExpress um, <laughs> from AliExpress little bags. They're like a dollar. They're excellent. They're super lightweight. If you put in hiking bag, hiking stuff sack or something, waterproof hiking stuff sack in AliExpress, boom, these are gonna come up. And I highly recommend them for two dollars. <laughs> so yeah, frog tog uh, jacket, rain jacket because it's a stupid time right now around in my area. Evergoods. C cap suit cap one right here. This is the echo pack the echo pack version because I'm bougie um, The regular ones are fine as well cap two right there Echo pack version because I'm bougie inside huge amount of capacity space I like this a lot This sleeve on the inside this little stretchy sleeve is like do what you want with me, right? Do what you want with me so what I want to do with you is I want to stick in my moleskin planner and the maps. Got to have the maps. So if something happens in the city, I got the maps, you know, so I can get the hell out of the city. If your cell phones aren't working, pro tip. Anyway, for all my city workers. So great uh, amount of like bungee and stretch into this pocket right here. It's super thick. That's what she said. Anyway, it's super thick, right? And I like it. You got these loops at the top. Evergoods kind of says you do what you want with these loops. You can hook things. You can hang things. I didn't use them. I didn't use them because I didn't have any purpose to use them. Because I had enough organization throughout the rest of this bag. But the more of the story is, the capacity space of this bag is amazing for travel or you just got large, larger EDC. I mean, this is just a little bit, like you could pack more than what I packed in this thing. And I think that my EDC loadout is more than enough than most people. I have hat and gloves in this, and then I also have a little bit of food. Like most people don't carry all of that stuff, but I'm in this thing called everyday carry, and I try to pair myself. This lid pocket, humongous mesh pocket right here. It's humongous. Great amount of space. It's you know you can access it from the outside of the bag. If you have the bag on like this, you can get into the mesh pocket this way, right? So you open that up. If you have items in here, I didn't have anything in there because I had enough organization. Like a lot of my stuff that I use, I want it on the outside of the bag, so I didn't need the internal organization. I guess I could take, you know, my stuff out of these pouches and stick it in here, but I like my pouches, so I just kind of, I kind of just left this alone. Up here though, I did put my camera, and then inside of this top pocket, the opaque pocket, there's two nice little pockets in there that they built in. I've never seen that before. In there, I just got my 360 camera. That's like the selfie stick part, and. And then the other, the other little pocket, I have the camera itself. But it, these are huge pockets in this bag. Lots of space, lots of capacity. If you packed it out, like what I was saying is, this lid part has its own separate dimension, volume, capacity, whatever word you want to use. And I like it a lot. So, yeah, that's the inside of the bag. Nice pulls, I didn't mention that before. There's pulls on the zippers on every corner. So when you pull this bag close, ooh, I like that sound. Let's do that again. You hear that guys? It sounds good, man. What those reverse cool number 10 YKK zips. Excellent, the bag stands up on its own. It does kind of tip forward just a little bit. Like it wants to camp forward just a little bit. It may be because the way I have the bag packed out. Now, let's get to the things that aren't so great about this bag. And you probably heard them before about Evergood's bags, you know, like, I don't know. There's certain things about these bags I don't like. One is the grab handles, right? I don't like the grab handles on this bag. I think it, it even more so on this bag than any other of the Evergood's bags, like my old um, MPL 22. 
Yeah, it was, I didn't like it on that bag, but it's just, because I put more stuff in this 26 liter, it, it digs into your hands even more, especially if you like really pack this bag out. So you do have like the hooks on the side where you can kind of hook in carabiners. And this bag, the, the CTB26, also has the grab handle on the side. Still very uncomfortable. I don't like these grab handles. I don't know what else to tell Evergoods. I mean, I hope they change that, right? I don't want to be the dead, uh, be the dead horse. They do put like a stay on the side right here behind this grab handle. It's a metal stay. So it kind of supports the side of the bag so it doesn't kind of like bow in on itself. Good, good look. Um, good look on Evergood's part. So they do add on the shoulder straps, you know, the water pass through. I don't see a lot of people using this travel bag for like, you know, hiking, but it's not hurting anything. It kind of stayed out on my way. Nobody really even knows what that is, but yeah, that's a, the, the hydration pass through. If you want to use the pocket in the inside as your hydration bladder. The, sh the shoulder straps themselves, I wish they were just a little bit, just a little bit more padded, especially um, because you're putting a lot of weight and I don't know. For me, it's like I get in my truck, like I go out the door, I get in my truck and then I drive to my job and then I got about a four or five block walk, right, to my office. Then I put the bag down on my, on my desk and then I open it up. So for me, it's like, yeah, shoulder straps are fine. But if you're doing more than that, like you're taking, you want to carry this thing all day, I wish it was just a little bit more padding. Just a little bit. Sternum strap here on a ladder system, I like it. Nice, right? Nice, nice, nice. No hip belt. Don't think it needs a hip belt on this bag because 26 liters, I don't really start looking for a hip belt until we get to about 30 liters on the pack. I think, I think that this is some of Evergood's best work in this pack, minus the, sh the handle, the, um, the handles, and a little bit more padding on the shoulder straps. Everything else about this pack is excellent. So the internet was right for once on this pack right here. It's an excellent damn pack. Evergood's definitely did their thing. Let's talk about the price. Because with excellence and quality, because this pack is definitely that, $300 is the, is the price on this pack. Do I think it's worth it? I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I said in another video, this kind of the space that we're playing in. I don't know if it's the 2024 prices, 2024 prices or what, but these excellent packs, they're riding around like 300 bucks. You can find stuff for cheaper, for sure. You can find, you can find a pack that does the same thing as this for cheaper, right? Carries your stuff, right, for cheaper. Will it have the functionality though, right? That laptop compartment, I really haven't seen on any other bags. Three quick access compartments on the outside, haven't really seen that on a lot of bags. Opens up full clamshell, haven't, I'm not trying to sell it, I'm just like, yeah, I don't like the price, but when you start looking around the market, could it be cheaper? I wish it was. But who am I to kind of knock their price, their tag they put on their bags? I like it. You know what I mean? Like, I like it. So, Evergoods did an excellent job with this pack right here. The internet's been humming, and it's been humming correctly. Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you loved it, subscribe. Evergoods, thank you for sending this pack out to me to test out and review. It's an excellent one, guys. I did a really good job. Um, if you got questions, leave them. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace. Bye.